watching you drill. So we're gonna we're gonna do some von Flew stuff. Um, is anybody familiar with the von Flew choke? Please say no. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit. A little bit. Okay. You're not doing it right. <laughs> so, first off, I, 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 I used to make that. I just squeezed harder and I got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not working. Squeeze it. Go we'll do some bicep curls. Cool. Uh, nice. So, uh, we're just going to start off with a basic drill before we even get into the choke, okay? Real simple. Uh, I'm here on my knees. Jason goes for a guillotine. Uh, so, right here. I need to be real aware of where my head is, okay? It's not stupid, but I give guys DDT in themselves all the time. <laughs> if my head is on his uh, right side, I want to jump to his left, right? If my head's on my right, I jump to my left, okay? So cross body. Now, I want this hand, so I'm going that way, I put this hand on the knee, and I don't care where the knee is. I'm not trying to pin his knee down necessarily. I'm using it as a point of reference, okay? If my hand's on the ground, I don't know where his knee is, I'm not going to jump and get caught, okay? If my hand's on his knee, I know exactly where his knee is at all times, okay? So this hand here, what I'm going to do with this elbow, guys, is kind of place it right next to his hip. I drive him down, and I hop to the side, okay? Now, you'll notice I kind of passed his leg through. So be real careful not to roll over and get caught. Boom. Nice and heavy. Go ahead and get that knee in the hip. Get some Face out, and then we'll just be having head for now, okay? So, we can drill this kind of fast. He goes right, I jump left. He goes left, boom, I jump right, okay? Simple. Well, let's pair up, guys. Let's try that like 20. 10 on each side, switch top and bottom. So a lot of times, maybe, you know, maybe you don't pass the guard like that normally when you guys go for guillotines, but it's important where we have our arms, okay? Like I said, I need this hand here because I need to be able to jump over that leg, I need to be able to pass the leg, and I need the other hand on the side, okay? Because that hand is actually the most important hand. So, Jason he knows the choke in his right arm, I need to trap this right arm. So my hand goes here, as I'm driving, I take this hand, I take the shoulder and I smash it all the way up, okay? So, if I can grab the shoulder right off the bat, that's fine. But if you look at his right arm here, guys, I've got it trapped in my neck and in the bend of my shoulder, okay? Now, this <coughs> hand just goes right under the neck like I'm in normal side control. And I'm going to go ahead and gable grip, okay? It's really important here that this hand behind the head is palm down like always, all right? So, it really looks like normal side control. And now we're going to do the same one we did earlier with Jason. I drop my hip, and I'm going to lay that shoulder, my, my right shoulder here, in his neck nice and tight. Give him a little pressure. Don't tap. Don't tap. Don't tap. <laughs> okay? Mark's going to sleep also. Yeah, so the reason this works is because he can't pull his arm out of there. Okay, get your arm out. I can't. All right? So with MMA gloves on, it will never come out. But what's happening is this shoulder, with me, watch his shoulder here. When I drive this up, yeah. it pushes his shoulder into his own neck. And now my shoulder on this side drives in here. Boom. That finish. Okay? And a lot of times, guys, like when I first started hitting this, every single time I went for it, the guy went unconscious. Because, you know, you're like, ah, I got his neck. Oh, I can't get my arm up because it's just inside control. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> David Riley, you can mention it. I choked David Riley unconscious from inside his guard. Ask him about it. So, again, same pass we just did, guys. Boom. Really drive this hand up. Okay, trap his arm. That's the most important part. Now you don't need to grab the shoulder here, but if you want to, that's fine. Get that arm under. And we've got to build a little uh, kind of sensitivity. We talked about knowing where your body is at all times. I need to make sure, in this case, my shoulder's nice and low in his neck. I don't want to be up here smashing his face this time. Okay, so get that shoulder down, get my arm under. The higher I can get this arm here, the better. Okay, you just drop that hip, nice and 
nice and heavy and give it a little squeeze. Boom. Okay? That's important. Just, just like any other side control, guys. My hips, keep your butt down. Okay? You get it with a strong guy, you're ready to turn. Okay? So my posture should look basically like this. Hips low, shoulder pressure in, just like we did in Jason's session earlier. Cool? Pretty simple. Hand behind the head, palm down. This one, shoot it up. Smash. Okay? Let's try that. Just do a couple this time and then switch top and bottom. Hold on tight. Just work yeah, somebody's breaking up. Just kind of two, two extra finishes off of this. And then we'll do like one more drill. Probably that'll be about it. We'll see. So let's keep drilling the, the, the entry, okay? The entry is the most important part. Uh, so same thing, goes for guillotine. Uh, over, get this hand high, guys. Right here. It's something I was telling you guys a lot of times, if you feel like your shoulder ends up too high, keep this side clamped tight, okay? And we can actually back out of this, put your shoulder lower on the chest, okay? And then drive it up, get in that neck, okay? So now there's two. Two other finishes I use a lot. I like this one best because it keeps my weight real low. But if the guy's defending and he's giving me some trouble, I can also just take this knee. It's kind of going to be on belly. Okay, but I'm not going to drive it all the way over. I just kind of barely put it up here like right in his hip. And now I drive toward his head a little extra. Okay? So I'm just kind of almost smashing him. Alright, so that one's pretty simple, pretty basic. Now the other one, what I'm going to do is a back step. But it puts the weight directly on his neck. So this one, I drive up, I'm kind of kind of smashing, kind of picking his chin up. And now the next one, I just take a big back step of this. Oh god. Yeah. Wow. You drive the weight. <laughs> <laughs> so with the back step, guys, it's kind of here. Bring this leg through this leg and step. So if you look at my shoulder, it should be about that midline right between my legs. All my weight is right perfectly there on his neck. That's what I'm doing. Okay? That's good. Even here, I'm, I'm choking him a little bit, all right? So, so do you have to have that arm, that arm track to make a finish? Yeah, I mean, you know, you could have a real tight side control to finish somebody, but the arm track is probably the most important part. And, and getting into it later, that, having that arm track, whether I keep it trapped or whether it pops it out, it's going to be real important when I'm, I'm going into other other submissions and positions and stuff. Okay, here, and I'm just going to go and get the arm crap. I guess a lot of times, guys, I just reach and I grab this shoulder right off the bat. Okay, get the arm under. Oh, this is so tough. It's so tough. I can't get him. Oh, he's blocking my knee from going up on his hip. I can't get it. So it's true. Oh, bang. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Can I see it one more time? The knee on the Oh, yeah. <laughs> the knee on stomach, guys. Uh, same thing. My pressure's still down, but I'm just driving a little more up this time. So yeah. I'm keeping my weight down, but I'm, I'm kind of driving, like picking his chin up a little extra. So it's not it's not like, oh, like I'm spreading him out, but it's just giving me a little, little pressure that way. But that back step is like straight down. Yeah. Cool. Looks like somebody just dropped a piano on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's try that a couple times, guys. Like I said, don't don't get choked like 30 times in a row. Just do like two and then switch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. So moving on. Um, everybody knows the basic stack defense to a guillotine, right? So Jason goes for a guillotine. I throw my arm around and start walking out. All that good stuff. You know this one. Get my hand in, try to work, uh, pop the head out. Yeah, most everybody knows it. So we can use this Von Flu almost in the same position, okay? But what's happening a lot now is that stack pass is great for when guys, and they extend, okay? But now, everybody is getting on that hip, and they're rolling and they're crunching your head in, right? So me, me stacking him up and keeping him on the side there, that's, yeah, that's not defending anything. So what can I do to prevent him from crunching? Well, I, I use the same Von Flew grip from inside the guard. So the important part of this, guys, 
as I go ahead and I go, now I don't have to be as tight this time because I don't want to choke myself, but I go here and I put my forehead right on my bicep, okay? So right here, don't finish that, okay? So scoot, pull away, pull away, okay, hear my voice. Now crunch in, crunch in, finish it, Jason. I'm trying. Come on, finish. <laughs> Jason, you're a black belt. Uh oh. Finish the guillotine, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so there's nothing. Now, watch this. I let my head go, now do it. Okay. All right, so keep my forehead right here. I, I usually stick my eyeball right on my bicep. That keeps him from crunching in, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm here. Now, I don't want to just hang out here, okay? This guy might be super strong. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is take this knee and put it in his hip, okay? Because Jason wants to be on his, on his right hip, so I want him on his left hip. I put this knee in, and then I hip shift, okay? Now look. Now I've got some shoulder weight on it, okay? So I can start walking around and stacking. Oh. Okay. So I may or may not finish inside the guard. But if I can get my knee in his hip and bump him off to the side, I can pretty much prevent the guillotine completely and at least bug him. Okay? And what happens when he gets bugged? He starts making mistakes. Can't let go. So he starts pushing away with his legs, right? Pressure on his neck, he push away with the legs. He opens his legs, now I can start passing, okay? So, again, right here, boom. Basic pass, right here. Get that, get that on flu grip and tuck your head on your bicep. Okay, so what I want you guys to do here is I want you, as the bottom guy, to try to finish this, okay? Top guy, just hang out, all right? Let him mess with it for a little bit, and then when I'm done with him messing with it, I put my knee in his hip, okay, and I put him on his side. And just put some pressure. Now look, see what he did? He opened up. So what can I do? I can back step. Oh, oh get God. my knee out. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is red. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That makes sense, guys. That's tough. You do it, Robin. I open one. I might not let go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go this way. Here? Okay, so get it. Get your grip. Oh! So same thing. Tuck the head. Go just finish that. Look around. Okay, pull, pull, pull. Nothing, all right? Okay, now crunch it. Crunch it. Finish it. Finish it. Okay, so it's tough me a little bit, guys, but I can hang out here for a while, okay? And if you do feel like you're getting choked, don't let him get on the side. Get that knee in the hip. Oh! Rock him this way, okay? Now. Now look what's happening. Oh, his legs are coming open. Okay, from the test. Cool. Sneaky, sneaky. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. So, Let's try that one. Okay, so Von Flip from Bottom. It's a secret stuff. You can't tell anybody. <laughs> Especially the, the YouTube viewers. Um, so, what happens a lot of times, we can do this from a lot of different scenarios. You know, maybe I'm turtled and he starts going for a guillotine, which this is an easy setup for the Von Flu, okay? If he just goes and does the basic sit back. Oh, thanks. Okay, so that's an option. But we're not gonna do that. So I'm here, I'm doing whatever. Maybe I went for like some kind of sit up, boom, and he just kind of has his arm there. If he grabs it all the way, great. So shoot this hand way up, boom. Lock it down right there, okay? Now, I can actually finish this just by going to butterfly guard, kind of kicking him out a little bit, driving the shoulder up, okay? Or, so I can kick him out, or I can do a little bit of both. I kick him out, and I lay back. <laughs> okay? So that's easy, right? All right, so what happens if the arm comes out, all right? He's strong, he's on top. Oh. So I start sitting back, I start sitting back, his arm's coming up. I have to realize that that is pretty much my only, you know, the only other option that's going to happen is either his arm stays in or his arm comes out, right? So, yeah, so, yeah, he pops the arm out. Simple, simple, simple. Head back, I curl around, 
I kick out to my hip. Now just take that hand there, guys. Boom. Grab the bicep and the back of the head. And you just finish a normal arm triangle. Okay? So keep that head super, super tight. So I'm here. We're doing this. Jason snaps me down. Ah, right into it. All right? Get this shoulder, this shoulder here, tight, and get his arm trapped. Okay? So first, we can sit back and finish the choke. If his arm pops out, boom. Head high, okay? Shoot this up, and I want to stay off to the side on my hip. So I can finish him here. I can throw the leg out. It doesn't really, really matter, okay? Just get to the side, get a good position, and finish this arm triangle here. What's that? I don't know if I ever want to do a guilty. Okay, so one more. One more time. Whoa, whoa. I'll add one more technique to this, but I want to do this step first. So, here, boom. Same so thing. Everything's high, guys. Just make sure the hands get real tight. I'm squeezing that shoulder in. So I flare him out. Sit back a little bit. And I can finish that. Okay? But he starts working his arm out. Uh, uh, head down. <laughs> you normally have to let it out. Head back. Okay? Boom. Get out to the side. Just rock this up. So don't reset, guys. This arm stays tight. Now, boom, right here, grab the back of your head. Like I said, we can, we can do just about anything. I can pin his leg, I can trap it, I can throw it over. You know, if I get both legs all the way out, ah, we can scissor him. But just keep this good side angle. Keep that nice tight triangle choke and finish it there. All right? And then side kick. Oh, try that. Wait, Jimmy. Where are you at on that? Also, real quick, I'll, I'll plug it. I do have a Mastering the Bunch DVD available. <laughs> uh, there's 26 chapters. Be online right now. It's on sale, $10 off. Thefighthealth.com. All right. So, same position. From bottom, he grabs my head. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's cross promotion, Jason. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so here, boom, same thing. So this time, Maybe I didn't get it tight, I feel like his arm's going to pop out anyway, whatever. So I need to be fast, okay? I need to react to this. So I'm going to take my hand and grab his wrist right away, okay? So I just let my arm slide down, so I kind of keep his pressure on it the whole time. Bang! I catch his wrist. Now I start sitting back. And this hand, I'm going to go ahead and let go and bring it to here. Okay, so I just bring it to the other side of his body. Lay down. Boom! Oh. Okay, now look, one hook, start locking it up. This hand, right across his face. When that hand goes there, guys, now I can let go of his wrist. Or I can just wrist lock. Okay? Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Crank, crank, crank. Oh. Right to rear mount. Okay, or what do we do with Jason this morning, guys? Severance mustache, right? Ah. <laughs> Okay? Golf <laughs> yes. all those again. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same position we just started in. Boom! This time, grab the arm as I'm leaning back. Bring this hand under and wave it under. Okay, so this is pressure. There's pressure here. So guys, I can actually finish a wrist lock if, he's, if he doesn't pull his arm out. Technically, I can finish an arm bar, but most likely the guy's going to get his arm out of there. Okay, he's going to wave it up. I'm going to do something. So I start my pressure here. Gable grip. I just start wrenching him over. Boom, boom, boom. If I go here, I go here. Okay? So we're working stuff we did earlier. No problem, right? Boom. Or get that rear mount. Start working from there. Bottom guy here. With the arm. It's going to suck if you just lay on it. Looks like, oh, here. Get under the head. Bottom guy, get your arm out there a little bit. Yeah. Oh. And you don't have to wrench the guy's face, but always right here, guys. Think chin or nose is usually the furthest point. So that's typically the best point of leverage, right? I, I go right across the cheek because your blade of wrist kind of fits right in between his teeth. Okay, so I turn. And really, I can tap him out with a neck crank if it's legal. But for the most part, guys, 
He wants to get away from me. Not letting it. Wrench him over. Boom. We finish. Is that whatever we want? Okay. As it's going out, sit back. Right here. Okay. Nice and heavy. I can let go of this now. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Pretty simple. It's not too hard. Grab the wrist. Here we go. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 Yeah.